now to the United Nations, the site of several heated exchanges in the last 24 hours. Authorities in India controlled Kashmir have also tightened restrictions to prevent possible protests after the assem General Assembly speech by Pakistan's Prime Minister. CGTN's Nathan King is at the UN headquarters with details. Yes, this UN General Assembly is far from over. Still many countries, especially important ones involved in global conflicts, speaking here at the United Nations over the next few days through the weekend. Uh, let me just take you through a few of them. Cuba, Syria, Myanmar, Mexico, the United Arab Emirates, all on Saturday. Uh, but really what's been dominating the conversation here in the last 24 hours is a speech made by Pakistan's new Prime Minister uh, Imran Khan, in which he really went after India when it came to the standoff over Kashmir and India's uh, 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 move to uh, incorporate Kashmir uh, into the rest of India and remove its spe special status, uh, even uh, raising the specter of nuclear war. Let's take a listen. And when a nuclear armed country fights to the end, it will have consequences far beyond the borders. It will have consequences for the world, which is why I repeat I'm here. Because I'm warning you, it's not a threat. It's a fair worry that where are we headed? And it is, I've come here to tell the UN, you've got to, this is a test for the United Nations. You are the one who guaranteed the people of Kashmir the right of self-determination. Uh, India, for its part, also pushing back uh, on Kashmir being discussed here at all, insisting uh, that they see it as an internal uh, problem, even though there is a, a UN uh, resolutions uh, dating back uh, many decades on Kashmir and India from the floor of the UN General Assembly actually wanted a right of reply to Imran Khan's speech and a junior diplomat did that. Rarely has the General Assembly witnessed such misuse, rather abuse, of an opportunity to reflect. Words matter in diplomacy. The invocation of phrases such as pogrom, bloodbath, racial superiority, pick up the gun, and fight to the end, reflect a medieval mindset and not a 21st century vision. Prime Minister Imran Khan's threat of unleashing nuclear devastation qualifies as brinksmanship, not statesmanship. Just to remind you where China stands on all this, of course, uh, the bordering uh, the disputed area, and they basically said that uh, it should be a bilateral talk sorted out between Pakistan uh, and India with uh, the UN resolutions in mind, and that no one should try and change uh, the status quo. Other t uh, talks here really worth focusing on is Cuba. Remember, Cuba, um, we talk about maximum pressure on Iran. Cuba has had maximum pressure from it with a blockade, essentially, from the United States for decades. And the foreign minister of Cuba here really uh, responding to pressure, uh, recent pressure from the United States, uh, cutting uh, more ties that were restored during the Obama administration uh, and also uh, rejecting uh, the charges that Cuba is somehow propping up the Maduro government in Venezuela. I did announce before the General Assembly of the United Nations that the government of the United States has begun in recent months to apply criminal, non-conventional measures to prevent the provision of fuel to our country from various markets through threats and persecution of companies that export to states registered with shipping and insurance companies. As a result, we have faced severe difficulties to ensure the supply of fuel required for the everyday life of the country, which has forced us to adopt temporary emergency measures. We're also looking forward to other big speeches in the coming 24 and 48 hours, especially what Saudi Arabia has to say about the standoff with Iran and the attacks on oil, its oil facilities uh, just in the last couple of weeks. And also, we'll be hearing on Monday from the DPRK, uh, is there going to be any movement on nuclear discussions with the United States? Let's wait and see. Nathan King, CGTN at the United Nations in New York.